Dr. K. A. Lahiri, Ms. Joanna Potts, Dr. Stefan Bart, and Mr. Reno Palere. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Thank you, everyone. Good evening. Um, I'm really, really happy that uh, I didn't make one doctor, but I think about 25 doctors wait. Uh, now you know how it feels when we come to your waiting rooms and we have to get an appointment. Uh, jokes apart, I apologize for being late. It was a genuine mix-up. And uh, as always, very, very happy to be associated with anything that PVR Nest does. Uh, it's one of those rare organizations that infuses a lot of common sense into what they do. And I was associated with them even last year uh, when they had this whole campaign where they energized school children to uh, actually talk about water conservation. And uh, it was truly an eye opener for me when their films, when the films that were made showed so many aspects that we as adults continually choose to ignore. So this year, once again, very thankful to them and Sanofi that uh, the spotlight has been put on a topic that's obviously very important, which is health. But the approach that's being used is children. Because like it or not, children, seriously, you guys have the common sense and the drive. Well before you hit adulthood and become totally jaded and cynical, which is where most of us are. Um, I, I remember one incident uh, which is sort of in direct sync with what's happening today. Uh, my dad used to be a recreational smoker uh, many years ago. And my sister, who was about, I think, four at that time, happened to see an ad in a newspaper that uh, said that smoking was wrong or smoking kills or something like that. And over the next three to four weeks, every time he lit up, she just bucked the crap out of him. She's like, you know, this is injurious to your health. And, and eventually he quit and he never picked up, you know, uh, a smoke in the last 45 years. And, and that's where I think you guys can truly affect change. If this concept of health clubs, especially, and I was trying to get uh, a, a small insight as to what you guys were planning as part of the health clubs in these schools, if these kick off, I really think these could be the future. Like I said, please, the only thing I want to request all your children is infuse us adults with some common sense. I think we can have a healthier country. Thank you. Thank you. And all the heroes were their strength was Kamal. Is it okay? I think what he did was amazing. I want to thank the Sanofi team the PVR and the PVR Nest team, all the pediatricians and the principals and the students who are all here today. But it's an honor to be here, which is, you know, for an event, which is going to be perhaps the biggest student-led health program. And that's going to be thanks to you guys, because you can help make India fitter, cooler, and healthier, which is what it should be. We always talk about health is wealth. Right? So, do you guys feel good? Put your hand up if you like being sick. 
Put your hand up if you like feeling great and happy and healthy. Let me see those hands up. Hand up. If it feels good to feel good and healthy, see? It makes a huge difference. That's what it is. Healthy children, happy children. When you're not well, you're less productive. You don't feel good about what you're doing. And that's what we need to change. You know, I was born and brought up in London. London is famous for the rain. It rains all the time. But at school, I was forced to play hockey, netball, tennis, swimming, rounders, gymnastics. I didn't have time to sit and watch TV or really play, or really play on the computer so much. I was always doing some kind of sports. My niece and nephew are 10 years old. They live in London. And their schedule is so full with all the kind of sports. And I know that all you guys love to play. You love to play sports. I'm sure you guys like to dance. You like to dance? You like to sing? You like to play cricket? Yes? You like to play all kinds of sports. That's what you guys need to be doing. You need to be doing it so much more. And that's down to all the principals and the teachers and the parents to encourage everyone to spend more time doing that. You know, I have been doing all these things for so long that if a day goes by without me doing any kind of exercise, I feel guilty. You need to feel that too. I think that's the most important thing. I think India has the largest young population in the world, but it's probably the unhealthiest. Uh, people are not in shape, people are fat. Khane ki aadate kharaab, exercise ki aadate kharaab. In fact, we're a bit of a lazy nation. Do you guys like being called lazy? No, na? We want to be active, we want to be proactive, and we want to be so healthy to take India forward and into the future. I'll tell you something, my, my friends, Yuvraj Singh and Virat Kohli were telling me that until a few years ago in the cricket team, people weren't that health conscious. I mean, when the biryani came to the table, everyone ate it. And in the past 4-5 years, it changed. And India won the World Cup. Isn't that pretty awesome? They became more fit, they became more healthy, and they won the World Cup. Doesn't that deserve a round of applause, I think? <laughs> exactly. And I'm not going to talk about all the importance of knowing about the importance of immunization and health and hygiene because that's what hopefully this program is going to teach you. But what you guys need to know is that health is a lifestyle. You need to do it every day and make it part of your life. It's not something you do once in a while. You don't diet for a week just because you want to get thin. You stay fit constantly. You stay healthy constantly. Um, what I really want to say is that I think Life is about working hard, but it's about playing harder. And the only way you can play is if you're fit and healthy. So what I really want to say is, and it's a request to the young generation, to build yourselves up to be fit, to be healthy, to be aware of your environment, to be aware of you. And I'm hoping that once you guys become like that, like Nagesh said, you can encourage your mom, your dad, cha-cha, chachi, nana, nani, principals, headmasters, teachers, all to become healthier. Because that's what you can do for us. If we're going to start these health clubs and imbibe healthness and you, health into you, then umid hai ki you give that back to us and make India a beautiful, fit and healthy nation just like it should be. Thank you so much. Thank you.